Hello, every pony. Jaffa Archfiend back with Alan Wake. Right. It's too damn dark. Hey, hey, you. Can you help me? Can you turn the lights on? Well, let's see if we can't turn the lights on, shall we? Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. It only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? I tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien. Okay. I know it sounds like some bye bye. Thing that a drunk would say. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." Let's wander around first, shall we? Ignore the fact that we've got a man threatening our wife or something or other. Oh, radio. Hey, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Not to self. Need either turn on subtitles or just get up the volume. Let's see the if I can do told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Let's just see. Let's see now. Options. We turn off the subtitles. On subtitles back on. Audio. Hmm, everything's up to full. Okay. Take a look here, shall we? Where's the hole in the fence? Hmm. One kick does that? Wow. Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Hmm. This is over here. Hello. More manuscripts? What the hell? The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Okay, so there really is a kidnapper. Sounds like he's on our side, though, from the whole shadow darkness bit. Sounds like he's on our side. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, well, we've got a police officer to deal with, so...
A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Okay, that was not creepy at all. And we've got the passed out guy. Well, at least he's not talking anymore. I don't know what happens if we turn off the light. Now, nah, leave the lights on for him. Might need to... I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All Tor we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. Please tell me that's the old rockers. Are you rockers. feeling any better, Mr. Wake? Please. I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic Three, is a place two, where... Oh, 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 hey, oh my! Take it easy. Saw that one coming. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. Oh, for the love you of... You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your oh, asses. God. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Oh, boy. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. This is going to go well. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Barry, focus. Who's Max? How the hell should I know? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Bucked toothed Charlie Columbian Mammoth. Why has it only got the one I saw? Okay, fair enough. King Kelvin Grove's got its elephant. Um, damn, I should know the name for that. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? I wish. No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, Do and everything's just... you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Let's ransack the kitchen, see if there's anything else in here. Who knows, there might be another manuscript lying around or something. Who knows? Speaking of which. No. 
Anywho. Take a run around. See if there's anything else running around in here. No? Another manuscript pages? No. Okay. Easy ah, there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You're right, Cabot's. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Fair enough. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Bear traps. Must remember that next time Max in the woods. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. Oh, yeah. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha-ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I'll quit it when it stops quitting. There you go. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Easy walk, he says. If nice spot, If you have any trouble says. finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. <laughs> of course. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you. Oh, didn't know that was gonna go into a cinematic. Well, I should have suspected, but hey. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al? Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, oh, Barry, no. they'll kill her! This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. Who's it? I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! Assuming he doesn't sneeze himself to death. Achoo! Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! I'm assuming that's a place. You. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. You're getting 15%? Damn. I'm paying you too much. Oh, batteries. Where, where did I spot the batteries? Yeah, like I'm going anywhere without these things. No, no, where's the damn gun? Nothing else running around in here? Damn. Not very good light, that, is it? Hmm. Oh, well. Let's go. No, nothing else. 
out here. Okay, well, I'm, just, I'm knocking plants over like willy nilly. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Can anyone see a radio mess from here? Meh, it's around here somewhere. Anyway. Given the linearity of the game, I should be able to find it easily I'll enough. Wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. <laughs> Only 12 now. bullets. Perfect. Hello. That looks like something over there. Is it? Is it? Is it? No, it's nothing. Damn it. This game's messing with me now. Move on. I'm gonna say it again. I'm just loving the texture work on this. Seriously. Hello. There we are. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Well, I think we are disconnected from reality, let's be honest. Is there anything in here? Ammo, guns, nothing. No. Okay. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. I'm gonna drive. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Damn. I was hoping to drive. Lights. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, for the love of God. <laughs> 